I think he was four seed one year, and then the other seed, year he was like a six or seven seed. Won a national title for Ohio State both years. Dude was just got hot in March, all right? But one thing he was real good at is defending single legs and turning them into cradles. Now, we're doing one from a low single, and this is probably more Ben Askren's area than it was Jagger's area. Like I said, Jagger's more single leg and crunch him up to a cradle, and we'll get to that too. But, um, again, I can turn any leg attack this guy gives me into the leg attack that I want to defend. I just got to be creative and figure out the steps to get here. Okay, but we're still going to take angle step, hip pull, and crunch. And uh, Coach Bogus asked me about how important is it or what, we're, what our method to our madness is when we take this angle step and crunch. It's a transitional position, so I'm not going to be there very long, but it's very important that I take that angle step and that hip pull and that I'm crunching in and trapping that head. Okay, and my knee and toe are pointed the same direction as his spine. The same plane. When my knee and toe start pointing up towards the ceiling, my leg's easier to lift. Okay? So when we get here, it's quick. Whether I'm attacking the sole or whether I'm just coming straight to the leg here and lifting. Now, we're going to lift and see how I slide bend of my elbow to the bend of the knee. Now, when I get to this position, I'm going to crunch down and I'm going to get my free hand in between my shin and his shoulders. Bend 90. Right here. So once I get this leg lifted up, which we just have, once I get the leg lifted up, he can't get his head up, all right? And again, I'm winning the scramble because I got more feet in the mat. Then my hand's just gonna thread right through my shin here, and I'm just locking it up. Now in a perfect world, I want the bend of my elbow on the bend of his neck, or on the back of his neck, but we can make that adjustment as we take him straight over our leg. So as we take him over our leg, I just slide this in and get it tight, okay? Take him straight over my leg. Now when I get here, I want to make sure that the bend of my elbow is past or at the bend of his knee. If I get here and my lock is at his knee, he's going to kick away and I'm not going to get anything. Okay? So I want to make sure. And when we get here, it's going to be tough to adjust. So we got to make sure we have this position right before we put him on his back. Now here's a little bit of difference when we talk about our finish. What does he need to bridge? What two body parts? His head and his feet, right? So what I'm trying to do here is just keep him from being able to bridge and fight. The elbow behind his head pushes his head up to the ceiling and I walk my belt buckle up under his head. See how my butt's off the mat and I'm arching into him right here. Get off the back. This is super tight. Okay. He doesn't have any space in there to generate enough power to kick out. And I know this is probably a new cradle finish. You've you've ever seen, but once you get in it, you'll realize how tight it is, okay? So he goes low single, we're taking angle step, hip pull, instead of sitting and splitting and taking him over his head, we're crunching him down into a cradle and putting him away. Angle step, hip pull, crunch. If the knee goes to the mat, that's fine. Attack the sole, I just need a little bit. Just like my switch. Hip pull hand comes inside, two hands are lifting, bend to the elbow, bend to the knee, and then when I kind of sit down, I crunch, I go get this cradle, all right? I'm reaching under, grab whatever you can grab here, okay? Ideally, I want my lock with my knuckles right on his jawline. That's the most painful, right here, nice and tight and squeezing. But again, once I take him over the top here and get to this position, I circle my body up under his head. This is as tight as it can be right here, okay? And if we don't pin him here, we got some tricks to adjust after that. So I want you to go that slow, angle step, hip pull, lift the leg, secure it, come up under the shin and the shoulder, get your lock straight over the top, curl up under the head. Questions? Anybody need to see it again? One more again, all right. Angle step, hip pull, right here, crunch, read that leg. I'm gonna have to move here a little bit. If I feel like I'm on top of him here, okay, get off to the side, circle into him, and circle around to keep his head trapped. All right, because all I got to do is get this. Once I get this, pick your head up. Real tough for him to pick his head up. His body's fighting itself two different directions. Bend to the elbow, bend to the knee. This is important. Don't try to get your cradle here. Bend to the elbow, bend to the knee. Crunch down right here. Get your lock. Then take him straight over your leg. Right here. I got everything nice and tight. Elbow lifts the head, and I replace it with my belt buckle. Right here, nice and tight. And again, if I don't get my pin right here, we can hip heist up on top and start finishing our cradle here. 
And then we just gotta clear the knee and, and start working there. Get it, go.